Big trouble on the BART tracks this morning. BART service back to normal tonight. That's after an earlier problem, though. A train experienced a brake failure. The BART train was stuck in the Berkeley Hills Tunnel between the Orinda and Rock Ridge BART stations. Hundreds of passengers stranded on board the train, triggering major delays on the Bay Point Pittsburgh line. At least nine passengers were taken to the hospital. Dozens more complained of breathing problems caused by smoke from what's called brake dust. The emergency in the tunnel brought out a large emergency response. Approximately 50 firefighters and paramedics from Oakland and Contra Costa County were called to the BART platforms on either side of the Berkeley Hills. After it was determined that there was no fire and the affected train was able to make it to the Rock Ridge BART station, first responders went into triage mode. They were helping those passengers who were having a difficult time breathing because of that dust inside the train cars. Oakland fire officials say they helped a total of 11 people People, including two patients who were in immediate need of medical attention. One person was complaining with a history of asthma that they were having trouble breathing. Um, and the other person that we found on the train that we actually had to get off was in a semi-conscious state. Seven other patients with minor injuries were also sent by ambulance to area hospitals. Two more refused to be transported. They were looked at at the scene. And of course, as you might imagine, it was quite chaotic this morning. Firefighters rushing people down escalators and into ambulances. Officials say one person had an asthma attack. Another person was found semi-conscious. One passenger says it was a very scary situation. I was scared. I was scared for them mostly because, you know, it was most elderly people. Um, you know, in that situation, you know, what, what can you do? It's like we, the people on the train did the best that they could to help them out, like the doctors and nurses that were on the train. This morning's train problem, just another point of frustration for BART passengers. Crown Force Hazik Madyun reports many people were not as upset with today's malfunction as they were with the BART's overall service this year. Poor communication with BART passengers. That's you had no idea what was going on. I, I still don't have any idea what's going on. What's going on? Another service disruption. There's no trains running and that we are literally stuck here. Some BART passengers say they've had enough. You know, with all the BART strike and all that, you know, it's just one more thing. That is how stranded BART passengers here at the Arinda BART station were feeling Wednesday morning when a train malfunction stopped the transit system here along the Pittsburgh Bay Point line for nearly three hours. BART spokesperson Alicia Trost. There's been a lot of delays on BART recently. We very much apologize for that. Some of the stuff we just can't control. Some of the stuff we can always do a better job at our maintenance and trying to get things back in track. But we very much apologize for the wild year it's been at BART. Here you see Trost, who was actually stranded along with the rest of these BART passengers here in Orinda, doing a little on-the-spot damage control about this recent incident. Some of the people that are standing here now were actually on the train that had to get off and then became the rest of the train. However, some say this recent service disruption is just another reminder of the turbulent year it's been for BART passengers. You know, they can't negotiate a contract. They, they just, they're just not doing much right these days. This is just uh, very disturbing. I'm very, very upset. There's always something going on with BART. This is nothing new to me, so. Anna Rinda, Hazik Madyun, Cron 4 News. Indeed, today's smoke situation just one of multiple issues BART and its riders have had to deal with recently. Last Tuesday evening, you might remember, evening commuters were delayed when debris on the tracks and the Transbay tube forced BART to stop trains. This video here, courtesy of our helicopter partnership with ABC7 News, it shows passengers at the West Oakland station, but people were affected at several BART stations. Then in late October, about six weeks ago, a fire in the semiconductor box under a BART train at the Orinda station. No serious injuries here, but smoke and flames were visible and passengers on board were concerned, to say the least. And these issues coming during a time of labor uncertainty, as one of the passengers mentioned, and tragedy during the October strike. Two BART workers were killed when a manager in training driving a train hit them on the tracks between Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill. Pam.